Welcome to Venice Beach, California, where thousands and thousands of people come every summer and suck up the sun, lay on the beach and enjoy the craziness what's going on on Venice Beach. Venice used to be the number one visitor spot in Southern California. More people used to come to Venice Beach than going to Disneyland. Did you know that? But all that changed. What happened to Venice? This is on the way to Venice. This is Venice Boulevard right here. And these are the structures right underneath the overpass on Venice Boulevard. Look at all those bicycle tires here. provide some toilets here this is the Culver City side normally they used to give people tickets on this side because this is the border of Los Angeles County There are people trying to help those people. But this is kind of danger too. What happened if a fire breaks out? A couple of weeks ago, there was a fire right here. This is Venice Boulevard, one block from the beach. This guy got his own little island with the front yard. I can totally understand all the neighbors. The real estate is so expensive in Venice, they're fed up with seeing all those homeless people being right in front of their house. And last week, the same setup was right over here. But for some reason, everything burned down. You can see the trees still burned. So all the neighbors planted all those little cactuses so nobody can set up here anymore. And they put this little fence up here. And this is what's left over for the encampment. Just a couple of days later, after I filmed, the guy had the whole island, everything burnt down. Nobody really knows what happened, but I hope nobody got hurt doing this fire here. This is where the Venice sign is and one block from there, this is the entrance to the beach. Can't even walk on the sidewalk anymore. Buildings are art galleries for thousands and thousands of dollars. They're paying rent. Uh, how am I harassing the homeless? You're the one who harassing me, dude. You're not supposed to do this, dude. Those are the handball courts. Right next to Muscle Beach. This is right here by the skate park. Hundreds and hundreds of movies were filmed down here in Venice and countless of celebrities I spotted right here on the Venice boardwalk. Vendors down here that pay thousands and thousands of dollars rent just to get a spot right here on the boardwalk. And then we got all those homeless encampments right across from them. It's not only the problem with the homeless people, it's more those mentally ill people. They need medication or the ones they're on heavy drugs. They're like really aggressive and it's not really safe to be down here. 
You know my channel, German in Venice. I love Venice Beach. The reason why I'm in the United States is because I saw Venice Beach on TV all the time, the rollerblader, the, all the movies. And I thought, I want to be in this place. But it changed so much. I've been here almost 30 years and it's not what it used to be anymore. Well, I get it. The home is coming down to Venice because it's much better than being in New York or in Chicago. Venice is always sunny. Something has to be done. This is not good for the community or Venice Beach. Billion dollar houses. All graffitied up. And most of those people, they don't want to go to a shelter because they can't bring their dog or they have to be sober. They cannot drink any alcohol. They just want to stay out here. I heard there's a lawsuit going on right now and that's why the police can't enforce everything and can't tell the people to move from the beach. Even if you tell them to move, where could they go? More and more people just camping out right here on the beach. Actually setting up living rooms look at this setup right here the whole living room right on the beach so many europeans say they don't want to come to venice anymore because it's not nice and they don't feel safe they rather go to santa monica and many of the tour buses don't even stop in venice anymore venice beach is a place where people can come from all over the world and express themselves with their art, music, or whatever you want to do. Venice, we love it. Beach property, even the rich people can't be closer to the beach. And you want to sit right there? Right across from the hipster restaurant. You're paying $12 for a beer and you have to sit here and smell all this and see all this. This is an old folks retirement home and right in front of the door, you got all those homeless people hanging out. I don't think it's really a safe place for the people to go or be around those people here. And if you go a little bit towards the right, that's Santa Monica. And you will not see those homeless encampment in Santa Monica. I don't really know what the difference is. How come that they can't enforce it in Venice, but they can enforce it in Santa Monica. Before the pandemic, people were living already paycheck to paycheck. And now they lost their job. I think it's going to be even a bigger problem soon. I mean, it's so easy to lose your job and end up on the street. So something has to be done. I mean, one thing, you can be homeless, but you can be neat too. You don't have to be like a hoarder and put all your stuff everywhere, all the stuff you don't need. Why don't you just throw it away? This looks terrible. I mean, going to the restroom is already an adventure. Sometimes you have to deal with those people that come to your store and they steal something, or sometimes they're just hanging out in front of your door, sleeping in front of your door. If you call the cops, they never would come for a little thing like this. And if they do come, arrest them, the next day they're gonna be right out. It's gonna be the same problem the next day. Every weekend I see good Samaritans coming down here with like toothbrush, some fruit, some food, some drinks, and they give it to the homeless. It feels like they don't really need to do anything. It's not gonna help if you give them all stuff for free. It's not really helping them to better themselves, but I really don't know the solution either, so I can't really tell you what to do.
And this is all in America. This is not a third world country. This is the United States of America, supposed to be one of the richest countries in the world. And how is this happening? It's unbelievable. This video should not discourage you to come to Venice Beach. Venice Beach is still beautiful. We got beautiful sunset, birds. It's just such amazing feeling to be in Venice. The vibe you get. So just come down and hopefully this will change in the future. Well, that was it from beautiful Venice Beach, California. Wherever you put your focus on, that's what you got to show. And that's why I wanted to show you the different side of Venice Beach that you don't get to see when you don't live here. It changed a lot over the years. I hope it will get better. I know it's not a video to like, but give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and I see you in my next video. Just saying from Venice Beach, California.